you can make some coffee. I've come for your pickle. Uh, Deep Archer One, thank you for hosting. Deep Archer One, thank you for hosting. Apparently, the pe feedback started coming in. Okay, I have the pickles. I don't care. guys are enjoying this nice Friday evening without me hitting the goddamn chair or desk. Let's go ahead and just transition this over here. Let's see. Let's see. Got my first paycheck of the new job today. Oh, that's great. Wait, today is Friday? Yeah, it is. Is it just a Pizza Hut? I had Alfredo pasta and cheese sticks. Oh, wow. Derek, you must be really full. All those carbs filling in your tummy. That did not sound right. Filling up your stomach. Yes, Blue Griffin, I am surviving. Honest to God, I thought it was Thursday, but it might be due to the fact that I was up until 7 a.m. playing Guild Wars 2, finishing my character's personal story. Okay, then. I'll be having stir-fry tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Keyframe can cook, like, a killer stir-fry. There's a lot of things she's really good at uh, making, in case that wasn't obvious on her Twitter. I woke up thinking today was Saturday because I got a day off from work today. Let's see. I've been watching Real Chef um, reacting to the good cooking anime Food Wars. <laughs> I have to go to work, but everyone enjoy yourselves. Oh... You're one of those who work at the night shift. It sucks for you, man. I'm sorry. Mom made homemade fries uh, here for lunch. Okay, I wonder how that would taste. Because a lot of the fast food that's like made around is very artificial. <laughs> Just had an ice cream sandwich. Mr. Joe Mule, thank you for hosting. I should go get my coffee. I should be ready.
Luna Hellhound, thank you for hosting. Coffee all over my fingers and shit. Does Skype really take up CPF for you? Yes, it does. CPU takes up a lot for some reason. See, I don't think it does. Sometimes I've used that. I had no problems with it, other than random people finding me just to use a different website. I had a spicy ramen bowl for dinner, and it came with a chili sauce packet, and it was labeled XX Spicy. I tossed in a veggie pack, though, and added a couple of slices of roast beef lunch with shredded cheese. Okay, then. Uh, voice, I'm going to continue streaming Yoshi's Island. So, any horror games you'll be doing, or what games you'll be doing today? Um, Yoshi's Island. I kind of make the announcement when I post it on, um, on Twitter. Do I like Mario Kart? Um, I like Mario 64, uh, Kart 64. Um... The Super NES version I didn't play that much. The later ones I didn't play as often, so I can't really say much there. It's a fun concept, a racing game with all the Mario characters. and You can see how much of a direction it took. Here we have Vol Golden Fox as an average hop. Dude, shut the fuck up! Wolfhead, get the fuck in here, man! <laughs> I would like a serious talk with whoever designed Rainbow Road on the Nintendo Wii version of Mario Kart. I don't know. Yeah, I've had uh, for dinner so far. Is it just? It's a dish full of popcorn. I might heat something up. With. How is that even dinner? Let's see. Hello, season. Let's see, retro gamer Kevin. Watching two streams at once. Ah. The Golden Fox you is. See, this is why. This is why that's dinner. It, this is why that's dinner. You take a bag, a family-sized bag of chips, and you just stuff it in your face, and then you call that dinner. That's how that's dinner. <laughs> bon appetit, motherfucker. <laughs> Tonight we're eating ruffles. I got the fucking Dorito spicy nacho here. <laughs> Actually, there was a special kind of uh, spicy nacho, or a Dorito, that it was spicy, yeah. it's got some kind of lime flavor, and they call it, like, blazed. It was so good. I wish they still had it. Wolf boy. <laughs> I hear a wolf head. Oh, that's both Nightfall. Let's see. Any games you can't stand, hate, or will not do? Mr. Joel Mule, that's actually a pretty tough question to answer because the games that I will not stream, I don't hate them. There's just certain things about it that I don't approve of based off of everything else outside of it. Uh, for instance, uh, Undertale, I am never going to stream Undertale because... The way you play the game, a lot of people backseat the hell out of you so much and they really like fucking crazy. Um, let's see. Games that I legit can't stand. Um, I think the best way to answer that is that I like it when games are, when they have a simple direction on where you're supposed to go. Um, things that involve... That's called being linear. That's a linear game with linear gameplay. I don't mind games where you do involve exploring. But if there's an obstacle of some kind when there was no way I could have figured something out and I look up a strategy guide, yeah, that's going to piss me off a lot. Um, there's a lot of that in Kingdom Hearts. There's a handful of it in Majora's Mask. Like, when I first started playing Majora's Mask, and I said it out loud, I was playing that, people said, oh, you need to have a friend uh, help you out. I'm like, okay, that's a red flag right there. You should be able to handle the game on your own, or any game on your own. 
Dude, old school games are a lot harder than new school. Like, have you ever noticed how like hand holdy new new games are? No, like they're really hand holdy. Not Kingdom Hearts. Well, yeah, Kingdom. I've never played a Kingdom Hearts game in my life, but like, I have to imagine it is pretty. It is pretty. Hi, like, Logic. You, you learn, oh shit! What the hell? Okay. Logic is transformed into some sort of squeaky toy. <laughs> I don't know how the hell this happened. Logic, I don't speak squeaker. <laughs> but no, uh, with with Kingdom Hearts, when you play the game, <sighs> ah, <laughs> like it, it's been a really, it's been a long time since I was uh, playing that game because I got so frustrated. Like I was able to make some progress, like. I went through the Tarzan level. I went through Alice in Wonderland. Um, but there were some portions like, okay, so the game starts with you on an island. And then with Sora and Kyrie and a few others, and they want to get out of the island one day. And they start to have a plan for tomorrow. But before that continues, something happens the very night. And a giant monster thing that's supposed to be ahead of, like, all the freaking Heartless comes by. And shit happens. Next thing you know, you wake up in a town called Traverse Town. And you had to wander aimlessly until you miraculously stumble upon Goofy and Donald. Okay. Yeah. So that already is like, okay, so they're up there. How would Sora find out about it? Am I supposed to just go up there? And it just continues over and over until finally something happens. Like, I was just wandering around Traverse Town like that for like an hour. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Fans of Kingdom Hearts right now. Um, you see, you don't understand the complexity of the... <laughs> you could take the complexity and shove it up your rectum. <laughs> wow, you just triggered an entire people. No, like, there were oh, times no. when I got la uh, got lost and people said, Did you ring the bell in Travers Town? What bell? How was I supposed to do that? Oh, this character tells you. <laughs> Where and When? How am I supposed to do this, 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 and that, and not fucking tell me? Fuck! Dude, dude that I will drive me fucking crazy. Bit. When I was playing uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, it took me so long to find my own sword. It's like, the way you get your sword is so, like, just, like, I don't know how people found it out without looking up a strategy guide. You're supposed to crawl in a little hole and then open a chest. But the hole is on the other side of your village, and it's really hard to see. So when I found that out, I was like, motherfuckers are trying to hide this shit from me? It seems like they're trying to hide this from me on purpose, you know? You know, I will give you that. Yeah, I can see how some people can have a hard time with that. Like, the only way I was able to find out is that I watched my brother play Ocarina of Time a lot. There were a lot of games I watched him play, and I was able to piece together what you're supposed to do. So, okay, so let's go here. Okay, go here. Okay. Where the fuck do I go? <laughs> gonna have to look up a strategy guide for that one man yeah like oh okay um in ocarina of time i have respect for the game i love the soundtrack um i love like the ideal story it's going for the graphics have not aged well obviously it's nintendo 64 graphics yeah fucking polygons on top of polygons yeah um but uh, there's like maybe one or two dungeons that I couldn't fucking stand. One of which is the fucking obvious, the water temple. I literally had to oh, look up. Everyone, yeah. everyone notoriously hates the water temple. Yeah, so and then there's the shadow temple. I had a lot of help from Ellie. Like, for instance, there's a section where there's like a giant pit and you have to get across to the other end. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to throw the bomb on the other side of the pillar and create this domino effect and it like falls over. I'm like, how the fuck is anybody supposed to figure that out? When was this a mechanic? Like, there was no fucking hint at all. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to think of, like, new video games that are coming out that we can probably rag on. But, like, nothing, like, everything fails to come to me. Uh, uh, I mean, God, everything this... that's come out recently has been actually pretty good. Yeah, that's why it's hard to find a bad video game right now. Like, this is the season of good video games and staying the fuck home and putting a mask on your face. Oh, I God. feel like the f like I feel like if you really want to stretch it, you could be one of those people who complain that the fucking Final Fantasy remake is going to be released in parts again. Oof. Oh, 
I didn't know that. It's being released in parts. Oh yeah, no, I think yeah. it was in like a two disc set originally for the like, PlayStation. The first one lasts until. Uh, like it's a fucking Telltale it? story game. <laughs> Golden? I'm sorry? Didn't they say that the first one ran until... I think someone called it Valhalla, right? Valhalla what? The Final Fantasy thing. Oh, probably okay. Probably completely wrong. The only thing I can say about Final Fantasy VII is that I haven't played it, but I know that it came in a two-disc set, as well as Metal Gear Solid at the time. Um, I think there was, like, another game that came in a two-disc set. I have to, um... I had to, I had to do a little bit of research, but, um, shit, I, I lost my train of thought here. It's a Golden's Highlight, con go constantly dying in video games. Dude, that's nothing new. <laughs> oh, wait, I take that back. H&G just corrected me. Um, Final Fantasy VII was a three-disc set. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it was a big game. Um. I remember a while yeah, back I, I was I playing... I understand how many discs were in it. I'm just asking, where does the first one cut off? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I didn't play the I game. I have no idea either. Like, I remember someone having a conversation, and I remember them talking about a place that sounded like, you know, one of those fucking extra divine godly places, and I think I heard the word Valhalla, but I could be completely wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ. Derek just Midgar. mentioned that... Okay. Derek just mentioned that Final Fantasy VIII and IX have a uh, four-disc set. They got a big story to tell. Yeah. They got a huge story to tell, my dude. But yeah, no, so back to what, I, what so I was really mentioning awesome earlier. Price. Well, hold on, hold up. Uh, back to what I was mentioning earlier. Um, Final Fantasy VI, when I was playing that on the SNES, there was so much happening, and I wasn't even halfway done. Mm. By the way, Pr Brox Pr Broxton? I, I can't say that name. I'm just going to call you Broxton. Broxton, if you make a drinking game like that, you are asking people to go to the hospital with the liver damage. With the liver damage? Shut up! <laughs> I, want, I the... want there to be... I want there to be an, alcohol, an alcoholic drink called liver damage. And then the <laughs> like the one sip of it and you're... One sip of it and in the next shot... Dude, that could be the whole commercial and people would still buy it. I guarantee it. <laughs> no, okay, I remember once... I think there was a commercial for a Six Flags roller coaster ride, and a picture yeah. was a guy who's just running in slow motion, and they're playing that do 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 do. Yeah, I, I don't know what it's called. Uh, it was from the '80s, but anyway, in this ad, the guy's running, and they show shots in slow motion of riding the roller coaster, and then at the last stretch of this uh, uh, shot where he's running, he reaches a trash can, and he's throwing up. <laughs> it's funny as shit. So that was their advertisement for the roller coaster. I guess some people. Chains of Fire, that's what it was called. Yeah. I guess some people are going to look at the roller coaster and going to be like, is, is that a fucking challenge, bro? I bet you I can go on the roller coaster and not vomit. And then he goes on the roller coaster and he vomits on the roller coaster, gets vomit on everybody behind him. And he's just like, I thought I was brave. <laughs> oh, dude, you just reminded me of the fucking Sandlot where those kids had the freaking chewing tobacco. No oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they threw up and it got uh, everyone's chest. It's gross. In uh, Snick and I think earlier Agent G were like it's Midgar, so the place I'm thinking of is called Midgar, which sounds kind of like Midgar. So I'm not too far off with what I was thinking. Midgar, Valhalla, same place, same. Got some angelet, ange, an, angeletic shit in it. I'm, I'm angeletic. assuming. I think you mean angelic. And angeletic shit in it. It's got. If I go to a place that's like uh, Valhalla or Midgard, I'm expecting to see a fucking angel. That's all I'm saying. Also, I understand that Midgar isn't Midgard. It just sounds the same. Yeah. Which is mm -hmm. why I made that distinction. Also, if we're talking about Valhalla, wouldn't it be less angelic and more Valkyrian? If that's Listen even here. a word. Listen here. I, I love my angels with wings. I don't know why I sound like a fucking drunken street urchin right now. <laughs> Just talking to you about shit you didn't even ask for. Oh, I Blue so. Griffin. Is... <coughs> Blue Griffin, <coughs> you are missing out, dude. You have got to see The Sandlot. It's a, it, it's a silly kids movie about a group of kids who play uh, and practice baseball. 
and they just get into a lot of stupid shit. Like, one of which, they uh, had a couple of competitors who paid a visit, and they're both, like, calling names at each other. And one of which saying, you play ball like a girl! Really? Tomorrow, at our field! Get out of pee drinking crap face! It was funny shit. But no, um, Sandlot, that's a movie I definitely recommend. It's not a terrific movie, but it's a movie you can sit down and just have fun with. I still gotta see that movie that has the daddy would you like some sausages bit. Oh. Shut of up. course you're gonna Shut fucking up. say that. The only Listen. reason I, okay, the only reason I know that exists is because of people I used to talk to who used to quote it in a really high pitched, uncomfortable voice. Do not talk about it. Next topic. Yeah. I Thank saw... you. <laughs> I, can I say one thing about that you film? Cannot. Is that I I I'm gonna You, cannot. you I'm I'm gonna I can you? move. Wait, I can't move. <gasps> I can. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. He has too much power. Golden, what have you done? Isn't James Earl Jones in that or am I thinking? Nickel, yes, he was. Uh, you see him at the end of the film. What's up, Logic? Is like, is like, are the mod powers finally fixed, or is it just because Wolfhead's already in here that I can move him? I don't know. Wait, what, what are you oh. gonna move him to? I He's wasn't gonna move, gonna move him. I'm speaking hypothetically. Also, I can't. I can only move Wolfhead and you because you two are in this chat room. Why I can't can move you move else. Golden? <laughs> it's like Golden could be streaming, and then you can move him to a channel that's just Wait him a by second. himself. Hang on, also, guys. Wait, I, I just wait. saw something interesting. Okay, so what? okay, so you see where the call roster is. Click on my name, and you see where the avatar is. There's a little play button next to it. Wait, hold wait, up. What? Yeah, New profile. Okay, I'm clicking in the stream chat. Yeah, in the, in the stream party. In okay, the stream, in stream party. party, I click on you. Yeah, there's, there's a little watch you. button. There's a watch button on you. Yeah. Um. There's no watch button here. Oh. How did you fly to us? No, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Let me screen cap this. Okay. Also, for context for everybody in the Twitch chat of what I'm talking about, I um, I am a moderator in Golden Fox's server, which basically means nothing because I can't actually move people between calls because the rules of the different roles seem to be outside oh, of my favor. Uh, did you guys update your Discord? I didn't update uh, my Discord. Okay. I, my Discord might need updating. Yeah, there's a little uh, arrow key on the upper right. To... Yeah. Go ahead and do that and see if you can see that. Because um, this looks so cool. I mean, if you guys can watch me stream, holy shit. But yeah. Um, I mean, I can't because I don't have I, the green arrow in the top, right? Oh. Okay, is, there a is there a check for update button? Because I can't see one on mine. Exactly. It it's Why originally I, supposed I to be on the upper right. right side of the screen. Like, it's supposed to be oh, like a green... I know what you're talking about, but that only, that's only available for me when there's an update. And it's not telling me that there is one. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. Uh, it's like I've only got the pins, the notifications, the member list, the search tab, the mentions, maybe, and the help. What the fuck is that? Peach maybe milk? Maybe the fucking... What? Huh? Season, what are you doing down there? Season. Season. She's Season. always up to something. <laughs> and... Peach milk? What? Why? Season. Peach milk? Peach Hold up. milk. Hold up. Damn it, my thing isn't loading again! Shit. Peach milk, okay. though. Okay, I can't load anything because my Wi Fi keeps having a hiccup, so if I try to click a link, it's gonna take ages to open. A Korean yogurt. Oh, okay. Korean also, yogurt. She sees in the wick, and of course she's up to something. <laughs> you guys wanna get some Korean yogurt after the stream? <laughs> no. There actually is an Why eight. There's actually a small little Asian market that has, like, stacks of, like, noodles and shit. And there's, like, thin, like, Oreos that you can purchase for, like, two bucks. That, okay, that's neat, but also quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No. Like, <laughs> I refuse. Like, hey, we should go out and get this Korean stuff, yeah. Outside. With the people. During the quarantine. For Korean yogurt. Really yeah, intense. we should. Yeah, dude, let's get some Korean yogurt. Also, I love how this. I love how this pre-show is just us running rudimentary Discord maintenance and getting fucking nowhere, while also talking about Korean yogurt and peach milk. 
<laughs> what next? It's like, what next, dear viewer? What next? I'm going to get... Logic, listen here. I'm going to go get some peach milk. <laughs> and I'm going to eat it in a way that's going to make you want it. I'm going to eat it and be like, oh, this is some good-ass peach I, milk. And you're going to be like, damn, I should have got some peach milk. I don't think you... I don't think you can do that. I, I mean, I will fucking... I am prove you wrong. I am a very non-adventurous type. So I don't think it matters how much somebody shows me that something is good. I'm probably not going to go out of my way to try it. Especially if it means going outside and finding someone who sells fucking Korean yogurt. Snick brings up a good point. He's like, I'm in a time zone where everything is closed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's time I um, get straight to the game.